Hello friends, my name is Abhishek Prasad and I welcome you all in this new tutorial that is Ardido project. So today I will show you uh, number one how to connect the USB uploader with an Arduino. Number two how to download and install the Arduino software. Okay, Arduino software uh, is basically an IDE. You all know IDE, I think most probably id stands for integrated developing environment in id software you can write the program okay and compile it and as well as you can upload it to the uh, arduino okay now at number three i will show you how to use the arduino software means i will elaborate all the function of arduino software and uh, basically i will cover it and after that at number four i will show you how to write a program and followed by how to compile the program and upload it to the arduino thank you okay now coming to the first topic that is how to connect the usb uploader with an arduino now as you can see this is an arduino yes this is an arduino this is an uploader okay and uh, we will connect this arduino and this uploader with uh, via this jumper cable okay uh, we will connect uh, the arduino and the uploader with uh, this jumper cable let's connect thank you Yes, I just mentioned the symmetric diagram of uh, the connection and after connection it will look like this, okay, it is simply like this. Uh, yes, thank you. You just need to connect the uploader. Uh, this this uploader to the USB of the computer or laptop, whichever you have. Okay, I am connecting it. Yes, you can see uh, the uploader the uh, LED is glowing, and at the Arduino, the Arduino uh, at the Arduino, uh, the LED is also glowing. That means both the connections are correct. Both the connections are correct, and uh, yes, this uh, this uh, yes, sorry, this red one, this red LED um, shows that the uh, Arduino is getting power and working correctly. And uh, this green LED, this green LED is connected to the pin number. 13 uh, sorry pin number d13 that is it is digitally connected to d13 okay and thus i have uh, i i program this arduino for uh, blinking the 13 uh, pin number 13 led uh, sorry pin number d13 led so it is blinking accordingly accordingly Whenever we upload a program to the Arduino, yes, I am uploading a program. Now you can see um, in the uploader, uh, purple light glows, and in the Arduino, the green light, uh, the green LED uh, blinks continuously for three seconds. And in the uploader, the purple light, uh, purple LED blinks for just one second. Okay, you need to download the Arduino um, ID software. Uh, I will provide the link in the description part of my video. Okay, 
and, uh, and after clicking on that uh, link uh, I have made a block uh, sorry block where from where you can get the whole knowledge uh, about downloading it and installing it okay I have the software here I have already downloaded it and after clicking double clicking on the software uh, it will uh, show that I have already downloaded it uh, I have already installed it so I did not need to uh, install it again here is the shortcut icon of uh, the Arduino that I have installed, uh, downloaded and installed okay. uh, I have mentioned a link in my description part uh, from where uh, after clicking on that link you will be directed to my blog from where you will uh, you can uh, download the Arduino after clicking uh, on the option uh, and uh, then and then you can follow those steps to install uh, the Arduino very easily uh, thank you Okay friends, now we come to our third topic that is how to use the Arduino software. Here, here I have shown you how to download and install the ID software, uh, sorry Arduino ID software. Now I am showing you to, how to use it. Okay, first we have to open the Arduino ID software. See, you can see this ID software is a version Arduino 1.6.7 I think it's the latest okay now at first you need to know that uh, Arduino uh, every program is in Arduino is termed as a sketch you have to term the program in Arduino as the sketch and you can name it anything okay in Arduino there are basically two functions a wired setup and wired loop okay wired setup uh, Arduino execute wired setup only one time uh, during the power on or uh, during the reset and uh, after that it will continuously and infinitely it will uh, uh, execute the loop uh, loop function and thus we uh, we program it accordingly to these functions only ok now you can see this option is for verifying means for uh, compiling after writing the program yeah, you need to compile it and uh, by clicking on this uh, yeah, this uh, button uh, this option you can compile the sketch ok and after that compiling you can upload the sketch using this option ok and uh, this option is for uh, opening a new sketch you can open a new sketch shortcutly via this option you can open the older or uh, saved uh, sketch by this option and you can save uh, the current the current uh, sketch with this option ok now this is a file option you can open uh, you all know what what are there in file option this is edit option you can cut copy and uh, uh, some simple things are there you can do these are not required in a sketch option you can click here for verifying or compiling the program you can upload here and by clicking here you can upload using programmer uh, software from here and uh, thus these are also not required you can include yes 
this is the thing you need to know you can include the library these are the libraries uh, which you need for uh, embedded systems uh, means advanced robotic system these are the modules you will require and uh, without applying this library you can't use the module or arduino will not accept those modules so arduino can only accept uh, these mod these advanced modules only when you program it using these libraries okay i almost every library almost every uh, library is present in the arduino software so you know need you don't need to take any tension you can add file from here by clicking here yes uh is in tool option you can format uh, archive the sketch fix encoding and reload it uh, whenever uh, the code is would uh, have any uh, simple problem you can fix it and reload it okay serial monitor yes serial monitor is a monitor uh, yes this is a serial monitor uh, this monitor is used to communicate with the arduino in easy phase in uh, in this section the arduino will reply you and here in this section you can command the arduino this serial monitor is very important yes after that yes you can choose the board which you are using here from here right now i am using arduino uno so i will choose uh, arduino uno option okay there are several options you can choose these are the options uh, ev uh, every options have different uh, uh, boot loader like uh, in arduino uno i have different boot loader and uh, in this option we, uh, in uh, arduino nano i have different uh, boot loader so if we use any uh, arduino product uh, we need to change the board option okay and this is port com 60 so these are the serial port uh, of my uh, laptop uh, of my laptop i have three port in my laptop and uh, yes the port where i have connected uh, the uh, uploader of the arduino is on here and yes you can burn the boot loader this is the option from where you can burn the boot loader uh, whenever uh, uh, the uh, at mega 32 uh, bit chip of arduino uh, uh, spoils or uh, yes spoils you need to buy it from uh, other sources uh like online or uh, from a store and after putting it uh, on the board you can uh, burn the boot loader of uh, arduino you know and use it that's all for uh, uh, this portion thank you okay now we will start how to write a program in the arduino software followed by compiling it and uploading it okay now this is the sketch now this is the default name of the sketch okay and these are the default loop uh sorry these are default function of arduino i have told you previously that the setup functions is uh, the setup function run only at a time of powering the arduino and after uh, and uh, restarting the arduino only in this condition and after that uh, the loop and after that arduino uh, executes the loop 
uh, loop function okay now at first we need to uh, declare mm, at first we need to declare the, the digital pin number 13 as output uh, as we have connected the LED and a 1 kilo ohm resistance we have connected I repeat we have connected an LED and a 1 kilo ohm resistor with pin number 13 uh, because because LED draws unlimited current and uh, uh, an Arduino will not get much current because LED is drawing all the current that's why we need to uh, limit the uh, current consumption of LED and so we use uh, the um, register you can apply uh, Ohm's law that is V is equal to IR in this application and uh, use a different register for different LEDs here for our LED 1 kilo ohm register resistance is uh, ok uh, so we start writing the program at first we need to write uh, the following keyword note down this keyword pin mode Sorry. Here yeah. pin mode. You have to declare the pin number and we have to declare the status of the pin number. Pin number. Okay. Uh, the pin um, uh, for declaring the uh, this uh, keyword uh, you need to understand that between uh, the bracket you always have to write the keyword in capital letter okay and uh, the keyword will turn to blue color if it is uh, correct keyword okay and before the bracket you need to write uh, the first uh, word in a small letter then uh, the second word uh, uh, the se second word should be capital ok and now in loop function uh, we have declared the uh, digital pin 13 as output now in loop function we will declare the uh, working of the LED ok the keyword for working of LED is uh, since it is uh, the pin number 13 is uh, digital one so we will write it as digital write so di di digital write. we will declare the pin okay and we will uh, term it high means high means it will glow we will uh, delay the glowing part up to uh, one second here yeah. uh, thousand represents one second okay this means thousand millisecond uh, in Arduino uh, it is uh, preset that you have to uh, write uh, everything in a millisecond uh, in the unit of time as millisecond that's why so one thousand uh, sorry so uh, one thousand equals to one second okay we have delayed it now we will uh, again uh, write uh, this keyword i am copying it uh, control c 
and then control D and uh, delaying it for one second again control C and control V okay you just need to remember that you termed it low L O W no 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 capital L O W yes now you can see I have writ uh, written a program in uh, this program basically Arduino will uh, compile this program uh, and uh, um, Arduino will uh, instruct the digital pin is digital pin 13 uh, to glow the LED for one second and an other an another one second it will uh, switch it off okay so let's compile it oh yes yeah before compiling you need to name it so I am naming it as a V I and saving it okay and you can see compiling the sketch is written here yes and then uh, it is shown that done compiling now I am uploading it here see here in here you can see uploading is written done uploading means Arduino uh, in Arduino we have uploaded the program Thank you for watching this uh, tutorial and if you have any queries you can ask me and, uh, I, and uh, yes uh, there is a uh, blog uh, I have written a blog in, in which I have mentioned how to con how to control Arduino for blinking a LED you must read that blog I think ev your every query will be cleared there will get cleared there ok uh, yes thank you for watching I have just uploaded a program to the Arduino so that the uh, green LED that is connected with the, the pin 13 can blink for one second you can see the green LED is blinking every second